This is Dr. David Shine, and welcome to Business Law 101. Buyers, duties, rights, and, and remedies. Right to inspect. Now, remember, inspection means that as the goods are brought to your front door, your loading dock, you go out and take a look at them and make sure they're okay. Uh, my favorite case with regard to that, and again, these are real cases, was a seafood wholesaler here in Houston was buying live lobsters and, and uh, then uh, distributing them. And the lobsters were delivered in cardboard boxes, big flat cardboard box, with about 10 lobsters in each box. So they're usually refrigerated, but they can also be put, I mean, uh, they, they usually come frozen if you're dealing with pieces of lobster, but when you're dealing with live lobsters, Generally speaking, lobsters are moved live because the way they're prepared, it makes it a, it's a different product if you're cooking from a fresh lobster versus uh, frozen claws or, or lobster tails. Uh, but in any event, I had a situation where the buyer here in Houston was getting lobsters from Maine shipped out of Boston. And when they would open the boxes and they're shipped once a week, they came in every Tuesday at Intercontinental Airport, they sent a refrigerated truck out to get them. Lobsters like it cold. And when they would open the boxes, inevitably there'd be as many as one or two lobsters had passed away in the trip down here. So they'd have, you know, two or three out of 30, three or four out of 30 and so forth, depending on the size of the, uh, the delivery. So what would happen is they would make note of that and they would short the payment to the company in Boston. Well, lo and behold, at the end of the year, the company in Boston says, well, wait a minute, guys, you owe us 5,000 additional dollars. And the client of mine here in Houston said, no, 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 we don't owe you any more money. Those are for the dead lobsters. And we have a track, we tell you that. That's what we paid. If we, if we revoked it, then we paid you. Well, the lobster company said, you guys had a right to inspect and a right to reject, but you can't play games with us. How do we know that you're not just cheating us and that they were actually dead lobsters? And I, so I fussed at my own client in this case. And by the way, this never got resolved. What happens is, is practical business today, you cannot pursue an interstate case for $5,000. There's not enough money in, in the case to, to play with it that way. This is Dr. David D. Shine for Business Law 101. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform.